Jema Gisraya Reach Dawid Yisraya Jema Shalom Mishpaha Yisraya Greetings in the blessed name of assurance, the name of Yoshua HaMashiach, as we greet all those that have entered into the city of Yerushalayim, and we may hear the voice of our Abba as he speaks in profound revelation, knowledge of Yoshua HaMashiach, and the gathering around the throne here in Yerushalayim, for the Melechim, the mighty ones of Hashemayim, they have prepared even the, the offering unto Almighty Yah by the power of the great delight in Yoshua HaMashiach. And the attention of Yisra'ah is called uh, as the Melechim, uh, as they prepare to blow the shofar. Yisraya, the Shabbatont, the Shabbat is upon Yisraya here in Yerushalayim. We have come to gather in the most blessed name of assurance, the name of Yoshua HaMashiach, as Yah pours out upon the nation of His elect, His tremendous riches, His Eshach, and that is that we are content. We are satisfied and pleased with all that Yah is doing and all that He has granted unto us as a nation, a people, as we gather in the blessed name of Yeshua HaMashiach. For what a great delight that we may gather here in Yerushalayim and that we may desist from all of our labor. And I tell you, my friends, my labor has not been that Intense on this week, I've had to leisure you to do a little studying and things of that nature, but I have certainly labored on this week, Yisraya. I was just speaking to my Ach Simeon, and I said to him, I rather I prefer laboring every day. Uh, we have a call. Let me see who this is. Jabat Shalom, who's calling? Where are you calling from? Yes? All right, maybe a call of error. Getting back to the subject. But I prefer working and laboring here in the Uma Teshua than having to uh, take care of other things that I do. I, I rose early this morning with Ach Simeon, and then I did put in some cardiovascular. I believe that we as a nation... And Uma, a people, we should keep ourselves fit, uh, ready for the battle at all time. You cannot keep your mind or your conscience fit. When we are grotesquely overweight, we are beastly, we're consuming everything that our hearts lust for. And that is not the will of Omar Yahweh, Yisrael. So I believe in maintaining a certain degree of health and fitness for the battle that is ahead. And I arose early this morning and to, to get me some cardiovascular workout in. <clears throat> and from that, my Ach Simeon and I, we had to travel. Uh, it takes one hour, 15, 20 minutes to uh, go to this store, this uh, agra store for farmers, to retrieve some implements or parts for our implement that we may be able to till the soil and to break loose some uh, of the surface near the subsurface. And so we left early this morning, a little after 7 a.m., and uh, to take care of that, and we did not get back here to Teshua until, I believe, around 11, 11.30 and that time frame. And then I was able to sit down for a moment and to... Uh, take care of some of the small things that I needed to hear in the office. 
And from there I went to the garden to, to retrieve and to harvest uh, the abundance of the broccoli and cabbage and kale that uh, we had. The matter of fact, my Isha made me some beautiful kale chips. You see that? She made these, dehydrated these. These have uh, brags, vinegar, and lemon. It has some spicy peppers on this. And this is what she made me. The matter of fact, I have two different kinds of kale chips. And so I will certainly enjoy some of these on tonight. They are delicious. They are quite scrumptious. And I enjoy the kale chips. And then I sat, uh, as I said, and then I went to the, to the garden and to retrieve uh, and to harvest some of the produce. Uh, we have tremendous uh, late cabbages, winter cabbages. They are huge and beautiful. And some of the tremendous Georgia vets, collards, huge collards. And we just have such an abundance here to eat, and whereby we are not, uh, we do not have to go to the stores and purchase these kinds of things, uh, which saves an enormous amount of money. Of money. If you go to somewhere like uh, Trader Joe's, uh, and purchase this amount of kale chips or whole food. This is around uh, $12, $15 worth here. And yet the only thing we had to do is harvest this probably uh, two cents as far as putting this in the ground. And it produced abundantly and they are so delicious. Uh, I will make a video on that in my issue showing uh, the people how to make kale chips and it will be a beautiful thing. Uh, for you to do. They're very delicious, very nutritional, uh, and they're very helpful, healthy. Instead of potato chips, eat the kale chips. And so after that, after that Yisraya, <clears throat> I was able uh, to sit down for a moment uh, after I worked the garden with the Ach as they broke for lunch, uh, sandwiches that they had. And we always sit together in the plaza discuss things, uh, the direction of the community, what we need to do, what jobs are vitally important. And then from there, uh, it was around 1230 somewhat. And I said to the Ark, we tend to stop early on the Yom HaShishi, what we call Friday evening, to prepare for the Shabbat. So around 130, we do stop work and began to prepare for the meal of that day. And prepare ourselves for the Shabbat, making sure that there was sufficient wood as the weather began to change for the homes to stay warm. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I said to my Ach Simeon, I generally get me a tremendous uh, physical exhortation of my body on Friday before I come and prepare for the broadcasts and the Shabbat. And so I said to my Ach Simeon, let's do a a broadcast or a video uh, for, the, for our uh, channel on YouTube uh, that deals with men over 55. So I will put up a video of certain exercises and things you can do uh, to keep your body physically strong, and not only that, but mentally strong, uh, by the exhortation uh, and the challenge uh, of your own mind to press beyond the limitations uh, that you have uh, set for within your own conscience. And I did that. We had a wonderful time. And after that, it was somewhat 3.30 when I entered into my office, 3.30 p.m. So I sat down to a tremendous meal, a, a vegetarian uh, lasagna with a beautiful raw salad with broccoli from the garden. And then I had some vegan patties with that. So it was very strumptuous, a very beautiful meal. Very wonderful meal, and as I looked at, at my plate, I saw all of the beautiful things that we were able to raise here and grow, and my love delights in that. And that is what Yah wants you to do, Yisraya, as a nation, as an ummah, a community of believers, and you are sure that we are able to do that and to assist each other in every facet of our growth to understand the purpose and the will of Almighty Yah. That is important to us as a nation, a people, that the heritage of Yah will be sustained by our great ahadha, a great uh, concern and love one for the other. 
Without that, then uh, our labors and our works, uh, they're really not worth a damn, Yisra'ya. They have no value. And the content of it, it is not substantive. It is not based upon Torah. You're listening to Shemach, Yisra'ya, Re'ach, Dawid, Yisra'ya, sitting here live. Greetings unto you, my friends, Maria, and also my Uyib, my enemies. I do love enemies because uh, you are the ones that perfect my desire, my purpose uh, for Almighty Yah in Yeshua. So I'm not angry at you at all. Hallelujah. I'm sitting here live on this precious Shabbaton. We do want to hear from you tonight, Yisra'ya. I have a question to us all. And the question tonight, I want to talk on that somewhat. When is it expedient or the best for our own benefit or safety for us to tell a lie? Can we lie? Is it important that we understand that we can tell and accept, practice, Maybe uh, a little white lie. Is it all right to lie? Is it all right to substantiate uh, a fact based upon a shekha, a deception, a lie, a distorting, uh, and twisting of the elements of that truth? What should be revealed uh, to open the eyes of one that they may understand the integrity of the matter, then we tend to speak uh, as our forefathers would say with, uh, with shekha, shekha. It is a fashion or a mind to deceive, uh, to remove one from the true reality of the matter, that we simply speak a lie. Is it all right to tell a little white lie? Is it acceptable by Yah that we can constantly tell lies, receive lies, honor lies, and honor things that are based upon lies? Can we do that? Or should we not? Do you have anything in Torah to prove that we should not do that? So if there is nothing in Torah that speaks against that, then certainly, uh, then it is... Uh, permissible for us to do that, would you not think? Give me a call. The telephone number is area code 843-658-6222. I do want to greet you all. Uh, our friends are uh, Ach Dawid, uh, uh, Nesha there in Bergshead, Scotland with his family. Also our precious Ach and his Isha, our precious Ach Dawid, uh, and his Isha, Suze, yeah, there in Britain, we greet you all, and you that have joined us, if you're listening uh, there in the islands of the Atlantic or wherever, in the Pacific, the Indian Ocean, give us a call. The telephone number is area code 843-658-6222. All right, we have a call. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Who's calling? Where are you calling from? Shabbat Shalom, it's Brother David Nisha from Scotland. Oh, my friend, how are you tonight? I'm, fi I'm fine, thank you, Brother. All right, you that are listening, this is our precious Ach David Nisha. They're from Scotland. My, now, you people here in America, here's an Ach. What time is it there, Ach Uh It's quarter past one in the morning. Quarter past one in the morning. Yeah. Yet he is listening... Uh, he is awake and to listen, and the first one to call, so we want you to call as well. What's on your heart, my friend? So wonderful to hear from you. Well, I, I just, could I just turn the computer down? Just to watch? Yes, please do that. Yeah. You're listening to Shabbat Yisra'ya with Re'ach Dawit, sitting here live on the Shabbaton. We have our precious Ach Dawit Nesha there from Birkshead, Scotland. He has something on his heart to say to us. Come on, my Ach. Yabra. Well, I, I was just listening to your question about whether it's, it's all right to tell lies. Yes. Um, and I can bear witness to the fact that um, I used to be a, a liar 
as a child. Yes. Tell lies constantly. And uh, eventually it caught up with me and I realized the foolishness of lying. And then I read the word. Yes. Is that no liar shall enter the kingdom of heaven. Sure. And and I read the, the in, in 2 Thessalonians where it is about a strong delusion poured out on them. Yes. No love for the truth. Yes, yes. Uh, and one of my prayers daily is that I don't want any of that delusion upon me. Sure, my ah. Uh. That I will believe a lie, because that's going to damn my soul. Sure will. Uh, and, and so that's one of the things I pray unto Yahweh every day, to remove any delusion that's upon me. That's beautiful, my friend. It's... It's so vitally important that we, as a nation of people, that we, through the knowledge of Yeshua, and that's the only way, Ma'ach Dawid, is that we develop this insatiable, this uncontrollable love for His Torah. And that the more we learn of Him, we embrace Him with a greater fashion, our heart, our mind, our nefesh. And all of our strength, we show this great love for him. And we as a nation of people, you know that. You see it there in Scotland. It's no different here than here in America. There is a tremendous, blatant, corrupt uh, mindset that defies everything that the Torah speaks to motivate his people, uh, that we may be the great strength of the nations of the earth, and that men will know that there is something different about us, Agdaiwi. And I know you see the same thing there in Scotland. Oh, yeah, yeah. People, people don't have... You, or you, if you speak the truth, it's, it's almost like you're speaking to them in Russian. Sure. It, it goes straight over the heads. They look at you. Um, it doesn't matter what subject, it, it, whether you speak about the Torah or whether you speak about just something they can... Well, what you'd think they don't understand... They don't see the truth in it. Absolutely, my friend. It's sad. Uh, and this is the hand of Yah, though. Yeah. yeah. I mean, um, I, I have a son uh, who now, he, he's got a bale bush up in his house. Um, and he knows it's wrong. You know, you know, because we, we brought him up to sure. know that it's wrong. Yes. But his, his partner who he's with, she she's, you know, into the pagan things and she encourages him in, in the lie. Uh, yeah. And so I, I don't go round to his house. When that bell bush is up, I will not go round to his house. Um, he can come here, that's fine. But I won't go and sit with him. I don't blame you, my friend. Oh, no. I won't, I won't go in his house. No, I will not either. Oh, no, no. So, uh, we, we, you know, I'm so glad when, when Yeshua brought me out of the the lying and deception, you know, as a, as a child I was trying to impress everybody all the time and, 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 and now all I've got to do is impress Yahweh. Yes. Uh, and and he, he, he wants me to impress him by having his word in my life. Yes, beautiful. That I live by his commandments. Yes. And that the honesty is there and the integrity. Sure. At, at all times. Absolutely. To speak the truth. Yes, and, and, and so I found since I've spoke the truth, um, I haven't had any, any more friends or any less friends than when I had when I used to lie. Yes, I, I, but I do have brothers and sisters now. Beautiful, and, I, and that's, that means more to me than anything. Absolutely, I have you people in, in Jefferson? Beautiful, um, as my brothers and sisters. Absolutely, we are the heritage of the promises of Yah unto His nation that He has scattered. To the four corners of the earth, my friend. And I believe that. Uh -huh. I believe that. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm, so, I'm so blessed. You know, it's a remnant, there's a few. Sure. Oh, well, Yeshua said it's only going to be a few. Sure. And, and to be counted in amongst a few. Ah, what a beautiful, what a beautiful uh, revelation that is. Yeah. So um, I, I was saying to my, my son the other day, um, I used to look at words, um, individual words, and then and then find, go through the Bible and find that word and what it's what it said in each verse and yes. in, in the chapters. And then uh, when I started to uh, listen to you preach, it, it confirmed it in what you said that you know unless we have an understanding of what the word means in sure. its purity, 
how can we walk in that vein how can we see how we should walk how Yahweh wants us to walk and and so that really encouraged me to check it out you know to make sure that we're in the truth all the time it's uh, it's imperative sure it is imperative so true we're going to fall we're going to struggle days you know but Yahweh's word says you know he's faithful and he will lift us up and he will you know be our strong and mighty tower if we get into his name yeah sure he will it's his name his name is everything sure it is no doubt about that when we study that when we study that all about his name absolutely you know, um, and these people they love lies sure they do love lies sure they do you never lie than anything else sure well, you can sell them a lie but you can't give them the truth that's the truth so I'm just so glad to speak to you brother I'm so pleased and what a great honor for you to call and, uh, and uh, tremendous distance from these states and the heart is knitted as one and the message, the testimony is the same. Only Yah can do that, my friend. Give my regard to the family and tell them from Uma Teshua we send them greetings and love in your Shua's mighty name. I will do. All right, my friend, Yabrak. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Well, Yisraya, a call all the way from Birkshead, Scotland. You're listening to Shemach Yisraya with Reach Dawit Yisraya. The question to us tonight is it, is it all right to tell a lie and to nurture your children in lies and to bring them up uh, in delusions and lies? Uh, as we see one that is upon us and that is hasting the most damnable, vilest days of every kind of pagan, pagan, sadistic manifestation upon the face of the entire earth. And it is known as this most damnable thing called Xmas, Christmas. You think that uh, this is the hand of Yah? Well, let me read this. The telephone number is area code 843 Six five eight six two two two. Give us a call, and you will be on the line live with Reach uh, Dawit Yisraya. I hope we heard uh, what our Ach uh, Dawit said tonight, all the way from Birdshead, Scotland. I want to read what he quoted tonight. It talks Shaul as he writes unto Thessalonica, the gathering of the scattered uh, broods. Uh, of Yas Elechis Bachia, those that he had chosen, those that he had laid his hand upon, and those that he had commissioned for the jewels of his crown, his kita. And Shaul speaks unto the scattered brood of the elect in Second Thessalonians, Second Thessalonians, chapter two, verse nine. He talks about him. There is one who is coming, and the word coming, or boo, he has entered in, and he enters into the mind, the heart, into the nation, and he comes with the workings of Hashatan. Now we must stop there. We must understand the workings of Hashatan. Do you know what the workings of Hashatan is? Can I show you? Hold that. And mark that uh, text in your Chitve, in your Torah, Second Thessalonica 2 9. And I want to look at one verse that we may understand the workings uh, of Hashatan. I want you to understand his works. Yoshua said unto those that uh, were of the intellectual uh, knowledge of Torah and uh, those that understood the letter of Torah, that they did not understand the revelation of the Ruach, because Yoshua is the revelation, the power of Torah in the living body of man, because it is the living truth of Yah. And he spoke unto that wise mind of the congregation in the Yokohan on John chapter 8, verse 43. This is a nation now. In this most damnable thing we call Xmas or Christmas, 
This is a people that will tell you, well, I don't see anything wrong with it. So Yahshua said, why do you not mean? Why you do not discern my speech? Why is there no spiritual insight in you that you do not understand my daba, the promises, uh, the word of Yah? He said, even because uh, you cannot shemach, you cannot hear my daba. The words that I speak, they are not mine, but the one that has sent me. He said, why is it that you don't understand? How is it that those... Uh, that they say they love Yah, and yet they will accept a lie. One of the most vilest of lies. It is a damn lie. And all these pagan type uh, celebrations that lift up flesh. I don't give a damn if it's your birthday. These pagan mother days and father days. Uh, and these gluttonous days. Uh, your anniversary. It gives you some kind of identity. Uh, that you've done something great. He said, why you don't understand even because you cannot hear me. And then he says this in Yokohara, John 8, 44. He said, you are of your father, Hashotan. These are the words of Satan. Listen. He said, and the loss of your father will you do. He said, Hashotan, he operates, he was a murderer from the Bereshit, and a lie is to destroy, to kill, to rid any substance of truth from a man's bosom. He was a murderer from the beginning. He did not abide in not just truth, but in ha He did not abide in the truth. We know what the truth is. He did not abide in the truth. Is Christmas acknowledged in the truth? Yet Sukkoth is, and we don't give a damn about that. Because there is no truth in him. Yoshua says, when this beast of hell speaks a lie, he speaks it of his own. Do you do things on your own that you perceive their right to do? Well, I will give my children a birthday party. It is a party. It is a damn wickedness to that. You should not do it. It's wrong, Israel. Well, what's wrong with it? Because the Torah does not give any credence to that at all. They're only born one time. How can you have a birthday uh, 10 years from the day you were birthed? It's insane. Even the words... Uh, Birthday, it is a deception. I don't care if it's your anniversary. You do that, you speak of your own. You do it of your own. He says for how Shatan, he was a kazab. He was a liar. And he is the father of it. Is Christmas a lie? Is there anyone that wants to disprove me on this matter? You can call me at area code 843. Six five eight six two two two. You can call me if you want to dispute this matter. It says that Hashatan is the father of lies. He was a liar. He was a liar. He is a kazab, and he is the father of a lie. So anytime one speaks uh, out of the tongue of Shekhar, or bad, speak. These are the Aramaic or the Hebraic expressions to express the very, uh, the, the very corruption and the deception and the wrongfulness of speech. So is Christmas a lie? Then who is the author of Christmas? Who is the one that authors Christmas? Your natural parents, did they ever tell you a lie concerning Christmas? They lied to us because they were lied to. And they held fast to the lie. Our Akdawi Nesha says, no lie is going into the kingdom. I will get to that. We do want to hear from you tonight. The telephone number is area code 843 
or send us an email, Yisraya, you're online with us, send us an email. If you have a statement, you have a question, we do want to hear from you tonight. So any lie, the one that births that, it is Hoshotan. And if that lie is birthed in us, it is because the zira, the life of that kazab, that lie, it has been impregnated in our bosom. And the only way you, uh, you will uh, eradicate your conscience of lying is that you must denounce the powers of hell and you must identify what is in you, Yisra'ya. He is the father of a lie. He is a murder. These are the works of Hashatan. That is why when Shaul was writing unto Thessalonica, he says, he who is coming, he's coming after the working of Hashatan. It says he's coming with all powers. He's coming with all Simeon. I, I use the Greek word when it comes to that signs. And it says lying wonders. Is not Saint Nick a lying fat devil out of hell? This wicked beast that intrudes a fat beast out of hell? He slides down a chimney when there is no chimney? You bow down before the most damnable wicked thing of a tree you deck it? You know this has come out of the heart of Hashatan. You know that, don't you, Yisra'ya? You disagree with me? Well, then call me. The telephone number is area code 843 658 You're listening to Shemach, Yisra'ya, Re'ach, Ra'wit, Yisra'ya, sitting here live tonight. I want to hear from you because I want to save myself for tomorrow. I tell you, you want to be with us on the live broadcast on the Shabbat. There will be a tremendous, profound revelation of simplicity that is so simple that even your little ones can understand. Yet, it is of tremendous ascent of great knowledge and understanding because it is the truth. Jehu says uh, he's coming after the workings of Hashotan and he's coming with lying wonders. You see these perpetuators of lies and carrying. Uh, here people all year long, they do not give a damn. And doing this most venerable, pagan, vile celebration, all of a sudden their hearts are moved by a damn lie. You're sick and your damn twisted wicked mind. And they'll move to help and to give and to show a little love. You're wicked. Damn the lies. People ask me that. I said, I don't do that. Why? I said, because uh, it is a deception. And a lie. So I do not participate in any activity that has been ordained by the gates of hell. It's never right to lie. It's never right to speak a sheikh. I don't care if you have to give your life for the truth. You give it. You don't tell a damn lie. And this beast that's coming after the workings of Hashatan, he is going to exude lying deception. Well, who has given him the command to do that? Well... There is one that is greater than all, and he is in charge, he is in control, in charge of all things. Shaul, as he prepped the people, he said, oh, by the way, in 2 Thessalonica, 2 Thessalonica, Thessalonians, chapter 2, verse 10, he said that this one is coming with all deceit. His shekha, his lies, they are unbelievable. Because they are operated by the spirit of unrighteousness. It is a wicked thing. It is, a, it is this ovon, the spirit of iniquity, because it does not delight in Torah. 
And when you participate in any of those activities, uh, you are damning yourself, my friend. You denounce Torah. Well, what if I eat that turkey? I will spit on that damn turkey. Well, what if my mother gives me a gift? I will curse the damn gift. I will not even touch it. I will not allow her to bring that in my home. And if there's any matter of any substance that permit his Ishol to do that, he is not a damn man. He's a weak coward. He's a boy. Anytime you allow the Ishol to command that, now you Ishol, if your husband is ignorant, he's going to do that. You just be quiet. Leave it alone. Don't help him put the tree up. Don't touch the gifts. Don't receive the gifts. Well, what if he wants to give the children? You just don't touch that. You explain to the children that it is a lie. It's wrong. It is not based upon the principles of Yah. You don't try to intervene and prevent that. You get on your knees and put it in Yah's hands. He's coming with all deceit of unrighteousness. And that spirit operates in them that perish. Why? Because, because, as our Zachin Dawid said, because they receive not, this is it, listen, they receive not the love, the love, the hava. They receive not the love. No, not that they didn't know how to love, but they didn't receive the outpouring of Yah's love, his heart. All right, we have someone calling. Shabbat Shalom is calling. Where are you calling from? Shabbat Shalom, Pastor Ralph. This is Brother Bobby Davis from Oban, Louisiana. All right, my friend. How are you tonight? Oh, I'm Barack, Pastor Barack. You've been on my heart all this week. You really have. You've yes, been in my thoughts. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Well, Pastor, I, was, I wanted to um, call in to agree with you on these pagan holidays. It's nothing but lies, strong delusions, and demonic powers, Pastor. And sure. It's taking control over the people. Sure. You know, we sit here and we can't even honor the feast days properly because we caught up in these lies and these pagan holidays. You know what, my ach, Bobby, but there's a reason that that, uh, uh, the people are given to Christmas and all of these pagan celebrations. There's a reason, as I was reading in Thessalonica, yeah, here, it says that this one that is coming, is coming with lying wonders or simeon, or the ability to, to alter the mind and the conscience. And what alters the mind more than anything? Then one of the most vilest things that people spend all day looking at. It is called the television. It tells lies. It, 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 my aunt, Baba, you know that thing will change. It alters the very concept, the very nature, or the very function of a mind. It has your, it will have your babies asking for things they don't know a thing about. It twists them with delusion and, and create this image in their mind. Hashotan is very subtle. He was the most subtle one in the presence of the garden of, of, of uh, uh, Adon. And so the enemy used these very powerful, subtle images in the mind. And this one that is coming after the working of our shatan, he's coming with the, with the spirit of lies and deception. And so you know that how that even this Esther, the Easter, and all of this, how they tell us that Thanksgiving, how that these pilgrims were so thankful and they butchered and killed, they stole and they robbed. And yet they purport these most twisted, blatant lies and they call them, you know what they call them, because there's a different, my ach, in the countries of people, a little white lie and a lie. You know that, don't you? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's just a little white lie. What in the hell is a white lie? It brings damnation to a man. Go ahead, my friend. I did not mean to say all that. I'm learning, Pastor. I enjoy everything that you're saying, and... You know, it's, it's, it's something, Pastor, how, you know, we, at the end, and everything is winding down, and we should be focusing on Yahshua and Yahweh, and so many things going on in the world to where it's taking us off the the things of Yahweh, and we focusing on too many things in the world, but as the Torah teaches us that 
we must put our trust and, and everything into the Torah and to Yahweh and Yahshua and all the ones came before us and, and led the way and paid the path for us. We shouldn't be concerned about everything that's going on in Palestine. You know, I'm just encouraged by everything you're saying and uh, Christmas, Easter, all that, that's nothing but pagan lies and the children of Israel, we got, we got to wake up and stand strong and keep our trust in Yahshua and keep our trust in Yahweh and stick with people like you, Pastor, that's preaching the, the image, the truth. You know what, my uh, you want to, you're almost trying to preach for me tomorrow. That's what you're trying to do, but that's all right. I'll come behind you. But what I want to do tomorrow, I, am go I want to show the people the message that should be declared in this time. It's going to be surprising to many. Because I know what this damnable Christendom has taught the nation of people. And everyone is pursuing something that they have no knowledge of what they're pursuing, my Akhbab. And that's just the truth. It is the truth. And we need those to break down the simplicity of Torah that we may be, be know, we may understand. And when a man speaks, we will discern whether it is of Yah or whether it is not of Yah. These delusions and this deceit that is in the world today, there's only one that orchestrates it. And Yah is the one that giving power unto even this deceiver. He is the one, ah, Bobby, listen, that is causing the people to believe in this damn thing. Here it is, this nation is broke, and yet they are saying that the people are going to spend two point. 3% more this year than last year. They're going to spend nearly $1 trillion on a damn twisted lie. That's what they're going to do, my friend. And the damn trash they buy, after two weeks, it doesn't have any damn value to the ones they give it to. It has no value to them. And yet no one wants to hear the kingdom message, my ark. You understand? <laughs> they don't want to hear the truth. Anything else on your heart, my ark? Pastor, I'm just here to say that I love you, and you keep preaching the Torah. Pastor, keep standing on the truth. Let Yahweh lead and guide you, and I will, my friend. By you. I will talk to you after uh, Yom Rishon. I need to talk to you, all right? Yes, sir, Pastor. All right, Yabarak, and Shalom, my friend. Shalom. Shalom. All right, all the way from Louisiana, what a beautiful call, what a beautiful, sincere truth that was simple, that we must be a people that regard the Torah. This one is coming after the workings of Hashatan. You're listening to Shemach Yisraya with Reach, Dawid Yisraya sitting here live on this precious Shabbat hunt. Listen, I was, my body was tired, but I am energized. Even the preaching that I hear utter out of my life, it energizes me. And I have energy. Give us a call. The telephone number is area code 843-658-6222. Yah has allowed this power of hell to create this most powerful delusion. This what we call Xmas, the Christmas. And uh, it is something that is celebrated throughout every nation of the earth. It is. I was talking to a young lady yesterday because she said that damnable phrase to me. I said, I don't go that way. She asked why. We began to talk. And she was from Ukraine. I said, what is the historical knowledge or the historical data that gives us knowledge of this day that we call Xmas? What? Where, where can this be found? I say, why do you celebrate it? She says, quote, because of Jesus Christ. Well, I, I have no problem with people celebrating that because of Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ is a damn lie. The word is a lie. The damn word Jesus Christ is a damn lie. So I have no problem with that. And so we began to dialogue for a few minutes. And I said to her, do you read what is in the, the book that you call the Bible? She says, yes. I say, so the assembly, do you attend what you call church? She says, yes. I say, so what does that one that calls himself uh, the preacher or the leader, 
does he preach out of that? And these are her words to me. She says, I don't know what he says because the whole service is done in the form of the orthodoxy of the Russian. The whole service is done in Russian. Isn't that amazing? That's why Yahshua say, why you don't understand what I speak? And so I, I was not... Uh, I was not eager to engage with her because I just don't cast the pearls of swine, pearls of Yah before the swines, and get that which is chadosh unto the dog. You shouldn't say that when well, sure knew the dog. He said, this bread is not meant for dogs, woman. She said, sure. But even the dogs desire the crumb. And I knew that this woman, this person, this young woman, she was adamant, she was set in her ways, of her lies under that delusion. And believe me, I was not going to deter her. This is what Shaul says in Second Thessalonica. Yeah. I ask the question, you that have joined us, is it expedient for us, for our own convenience, that we can tell a lie or accept a lie? Is it all right to do that? Can we do that? Well, if you accept the lie of Jesus Christ, you accept the lie of these pagan lies like Christmas and all of these pagan days. Uh, and our, as our Ach Bible said, you don't even uh, care for the, uh, the, um, the Feast of Yah. His days, uh, something is twisted with you. You will sit down and eat with them. You cannot do that. Look at what Shaul says. Yah says, because they received not the love of the Torah, that they might be delivered. They did not receive the love of the truth that they might, might be your shach delivered. Because we don't receive the love of Torah, because we have not received the love of Yahshua, because we have not received the love of Yah, it says for this cause, Yah shall send them strong lies, delusion, that they should believe a lie. Do this world believe in Xmas and Jesus and lords and gods and Baals? Sure they do. They believe in the Be'el. They believe in the gods. They believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. This is a damn lie. And Yah has sent the delusion for these cowardly lying men. They call themselves preachers. They want to talk about uh, having love. And they don't even receive the love of the Torah to show them the, the illusion that they're in. And the lies that they are perpetrating and perpetuating. Because they do not and have not received the love. They don't love the knowledge of the Shabbat. They don't love the knowledge of his name. Yah says, I'm going to send them one that is of the nature of Hashatan and your damn Saint Nick. This fat beast of hell, he's of hell. I watch these damn ignorant parents. I don't like to go out during this time of the season. And the only time I will go out for things that are necessary. They let their little babies sit on the laps of these big fat, grotesque men, pedophiles and freaks, rubbing their damn babies, kissing on them. I said that and I don't take it back. How about that? You're listening to Shemach Yisraya. Riach David Yisraya. Your calls are welcome. Your dissent, your disputing, and your debate is welcome. Give us a call. The telephone number is area code 843 658 622. Babi, it is Yah that caused people to be driven for these damn pagan days because they don't want the Torah to love them. What is love? Ma'ach Babi, you have three children. Do you correct them? Sure you do. Do you have to chastise them? Well, absolutely. So that's what the love of Torah does. It corrects us. And say, yeah, Jesus is a damn lie. Your Lord is a damn lie. Your, your Sunday church, your Yom Rishon, and your church is a damn lie. Your, your crucifixion is a damn lie. Your baptism is a damn lie. 
This man curse all the time. Well, I don't. Speak a khala upon you, Yisra'ya. I have a great affinity for my people, for the house, for the elect. You're listening to Shemach Yisra'ya. Do we have someone that is scholarly in the knowledge of this ex mass? Give us a call. The telephone number is area code 843 So it is Yod that is sitting this strong delusion. They celebrate Christmas uh, in the honky tonks. They got the Christmas trees up. They celebrate it in some of the most vilest, ill repute places. Their bars, their clubs, uh, uh, at every kind of vile thing, every kind of erotic, pole dancing, Jezebel, sluttish, uh, nasty, vile thing, uh, all kinds of acts of lap dancing, every kind of damn thing is taking place. Uh, and they have the damn trees up. Uh, is that highly esteemed among the world? That it is a damn abomination unto Almighty Yah. You shall never be a part of something that is based uh, out of the, uh, on the principles of a lie because uh, how Shatan is the father of all lies. And you know Christmas is a damn lie. And you're going to have emotions because of your ima, because of your avata. We say, that's my mother, so she gave her this. We got to take it. Woman, shut your damn mouth. It is not coming into my house. Give it to me. Mama, now look, I told you don't do this. Because you have done this, you have repeatedly done that, I will stomp it in the damn earth of the ground. And let mama and mom in law get angry as a, as a beast out of hell. We have an email from a Achmichaya. He says, Shalom Riach, Hol Yisraya, Yabrach, a white lie is still a lie. I know, my friend, but this is how the world has dressed things up. And some of you that are maybe in my age group that watch things like Andy Griffin. He was a, he was a vile liar. He lied and lied. And this was impregnated in our minds to make us think that it was all right. He will lie and smile. Show called Father Knows Best. There were not that many programs on in the 60s, Yisraya. The early 70s. And Guma Pile, these ignorant ignoramuses. And a lie is a lie, so Andy would say, and Father knows best, well, a little white lie. Because you're white and you told a damn lie? It still is a damn lie. It is out of the bosom of her short tongue, Yisraya. And this damn Christmas, and all of these damn celebrations, Father Day, and all of that. I went to an elder's home some time ago, uh, and this is a man that has been teaching in the name of Yah for nearly 40 years, 50 years. And here he was celebrating Father's Day. It was a lie. He was celebrating the father of lies. A short time. The telephone number is area code 843-658-6222. You're listening to Shemach Yisraya. Reach dry wheat, Yisraya sitting here live on the Shabbat. Listen to what my Achmichaya says. A white lie is still a lie. A little lie is still a lie. It makes no difference how you dress it up. A lie is a lie. And he spelled the word lie, the last one in capitals. Emphatically is what he's saying. No matter what, if you are a liar, a kazab, you will be bound. John 8.32 says, And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Since you mentioned this damn lie, x Mass again, I have to say that the people are so caught up in this delusion. Yah has caught them up in the delusion. They will almost kill you if you were trying to tell them the truth. He doesn't intend for them to know the truth. Because they receive not the love of the truth, he's given them over unto that strong delusion. Of course, we do not even try. Let them go to hell in their folly and take their damn ex mass and all of their lies with them. Hallelujah. Shabbat Shalom. Shalom to you, my friend. I will buy that because I love buying truth. Yisraya. This is a deception of hell. Any lie is a deception. The name Jesus is a lie. It is a damn deception. The name God is a damn lie. It is of Hashotan. 
It is not of Yah. You're listening to Shemak Yisraya. It is 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. <clears throat> this is Reach David Yisraya sitting here live. I do want to hear from you, Yisraya. Someone give us a call. The telephone number is area code 843-658-6222. There's a time of great judgment. I want to read this account, what Yachahand, as he was there on the Isle of Patmos, as he saw the splendor and the excellence of Yah revealed in Yoshua HaMashiach. He says this in Revelation, Gilyana. We must overcome the lies by keeping his imat Yisraya. He says here in Revelation chapter 21, Gilyana verse 7, He that overcome shall inherit all things. And Yah says, And I will be his Abba, his mighty one, his deliverer, and he shall be my son. And he begins the list of those that will not go into his kingdom. He said, Those that are fearful, O Yari, they fear the world and what the world says. They participate in their Christmas parties on the jobs. Take a vacation day when they do it. Tell them you will not do it. Tell them you do not participate in those activities. Do not bake a cake for the lie, Yisrael. You've done it in time passes. Don't do it again. He said, but the fearful and the unbelieving, they won't believe in the name of Yah, as our Akhbabi said, they won't believe in truth, but they won't believe a damn lie. Isn't that amazing? They don't believe truth, they don't believe the Shabbat, they don't believe his name. They call him Lord, they call him Be'al. They don't even believe what the truth says, and yet they believe a damn lie. And he says that the Iba, the abominable, those that are Perverse. The only way that we as a nation could have were cleanser, that is Tahoa, may clean it pure, was through the instructions and discipline of Torah. And Yoshua is the living Torah. And he makes us clean by the enlightenment and the knowledge of Torah. And it becomes a lie that no Vow thing of hell, the wicked uh, attack of hell can overcharge or overtake us to supplant the truth of Yah. He also says, and the murderers, who are the murderers? Well, if we hate our brother, is your sure, our brother sure, without a cause? Because we love Christmas? Because you just have to celebrate your birthday? Come on, Yisrael. You watch the world and what they do and what they delight in, you don't do it. He says, and those that are homongers, you call yourself having two or three wives, you are a damn liar, man. You don't even love any of them. You have them out working. You lay around on your fat arse. You got her out, you pimp her. You don't even assist, you don't do anything. There are many of them that are doing that. They're homongers. They play out their fantasies, that's all. Uh, they're not even a real man. You can challenge me on that. What is a real man? Well, I tell you, this real man has the ruach and the power of the living Hamashiach in him. He doesn't have the damn Jesus of the Christo in him. He says, uh, and they're sorcerers, and no sorcerers, uh, those that bewitch the mind. Oh, foolish Galusia, who hath bewitched you not, uh, deceived you who have used the power of sorcery, the tongue of Hoshatan, the, the spirit of, uh, of death, was not Hoshatan a murderer from the beginning? Did he believe? I read that in the beginning. Was he a liar? Did he work sorcery? Is the one that coming after him, is he going to cause deceit to operate in the minds of the people through his lying miracles? Is that not so? What we call the mighty, uh, Anta HaMashiach, the prophet, or the, uh, or the pseudo-prophet that shall speak uh, against the truth of Yah? Isn't that in the hearts of many today? They speak against Torah. They speak against the Shabbat. They speak against his name. They're false and they're pseudo. I'm not going to preach tonight. 
You all got me all wound up. You're listening to Shemach Yisrael. React now, we sitting here live. Give me a call, please, someone. Here we go, 843-658-6222. Do we have anyone listening tonight? He said they are sorcerers and they are idolaters. They worship. Not Shecha, but they worship. A damn tree, the babies bow down. They worship this damn fat bastard. Saint Nick is a fat bastard. He may be a Saint Nick, but he is not a Cherukan. He is not the set apart elect de Borchia of Yah. He is a damn saint. And he is a Nick. No doubt about that. And they bring their children to these fat, greedy pigs. I'm not going to capitulate. When a man sits and projects a damn lie, he is a pig. These fat, greedy pigs, if a man would tell you a lie, you think he's going to tell you he's filling your little baby's buttock? He's got her near his, uh, his physical anatomy? You are damn fools. You are a damn fool. These freaks, they play out their fantasies. You put your babies on their lap, kiss these damn wicked men. They're wicked men. They plan out a lie, and you are as wicked as they are. Hallelujah. That's all right. I don't make many friends. He says, and not, he did not say all sorcerers, all murderers, and all uh, fearful. He said, both the fearful and the unbelieving, and the abominable, and the murderers, and the homongers, and the sorcerer, and the idolaters. And he said, all liars, call the whole, all liars, all achzab, those that utilize deceit in a way that it is so treacherous, it is so wicked, the deception, that it disappoints one. Oh, the lie that my mother told me, it disappointed me. Well, Santa Claus is going to bring you something if you're nice. Well, hell, I never got anything. A pair of skates. Water gun, some cap guns. And one year, my cousin purchased me a bicycle. When all the other kids were getting three speeds and five speeds, she purchased me one of those Pee Wee Herman bikes. I was so disappointed. I didn't like that big bicycle. Got the big wheels and everything. A big old red bike. And Andre McCarroll and Eric and John Crump. They had these beautiful, sleek bikes, and I was so, oh, I just cried. I was so ashamed. I did not want to take it outside. I did not want the bicycle because Santa Claus was not nice to me because I was a, what they call good. And so this is what I got. Well, the... Uh, be it, uh, I tell you what, uh, that bicycle would outrun all those little bicycles with the small circumference of the wheels. When I would get that thing rolling, I could walk them all down. And all of a sudden, I began to enjoy this bike because I could go faster than them all. They got it in five speed, just spitting it. And they're having to take three wheel revolution and mine's taking one and it's just walking them down. Oh, I started off slow. It didn't take long that I would walk them down and just pass them and leave them. But it was a lie. <clears throat> if you are, quote, good, unquote, uh, he's coming to town. Whether you've been naughty or nice, you can't. Venture into these stores, Yisrael, yeah, because you find yourself humming that damn mess. How do I know? Because I, I found myself doing it the other day. <clears throat> Could hear the song in my mind. I say, this vile damn spirit of hell. So you don't run out to these wicked places this time of the year. You don't go out there and spend time. You go and get it and get out. You're listening to Shemach Yisrael with Re'ach. And we Yisrael sitting here live tonight. All right, hallelujah. We have an email from our uh, precious Ach Yehovah there in Texas. He says, Shalom, my friend. 
That is why we are going to sing our song. All right, we'll get to that. Yavrak, my precious friend. You're listening to Shemach Yisraya. Someone give us a call. Do we have anyone? We know we have our Ach Yaakov listening down there in Florida, uh, in, 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 in the Texas. I do want to say to you all, I will mention it tomorrow as well, that our precious Ach Yaakov, I don't know for some reason we missed his call today, but he called us. He's at home I know he's listening tonight. May the riches of your are Ach Yaakov there and uh, Jackson Fli- via Florida. May he strengthen you, my friend. I will call you, all right? Ya barak you in your Shua's mighty name. We barak you, uh, uh, Mariana and in Indiana, uh, Ach Dawid Stroll uh, and our precious Achot uh, Arita Ya there in New Jersey and all of our friends uh, and all of our listeners and also our Achot uh, Kenya there in the Phoenix, Arizona, the riches of Yah rest upon you all, Yisraya. I began this broadcast tonight talking about, is it all right that we as a people <clears throat> to accept a lie at times? Is it all right? Can we do that? Well, I see no one Torah who gives us that kind of jurisdiction to supplant the truth. We must all deal in truth. Again, in Gilead, Revelation 21.8, it said, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with the ish, the fire and brimstone, which is the second death. There is no power <clears throat> to even understand or even connect to Yah when the second death, it is a total separation. I will teach on that in the future to come, Yisraya. It is a separation from the Most High. Y'all cannot lie by the two immutabilities, by the power of his Torah and the witness of that in Yeshua, by the power of his strength, his daba, his promises unto Yisraya, by the, his promises unto Avraham, Yishak, and Yaakov, and that revealed in the zira of, 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 of Yisraya, Yaakov, he cannot lie. <clears throat> he cannot lie, Yisraya. And the principle of this vile thing, it is based upon the, the most vilest of fraudulent deception. And that is what a shikha is. It is a deception. This is what the people love today. Listen, if you have the Torah, turn to Tehillim. Tehillim. Or Tehillim. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Someone give us a call. The telephone number is area code 843-658-6222. As Arach Babi, he called in and he said, they don't love truth. And also, Arach thy weed from Scotland. This is a nation, the people do not love truth. Now there is, you know, they bear witness with what Torah teach us. Thy weed said this, and they are enemies of truth. They will defend a lie. They will defend their first day there. Yam Rishon keeping. It makes no difference what day. It doesn't. Well, tell that to the people on your job. It does make a difference. When you have an appointment, it doesn't make any difference what day it is. Oh, I know what the people will say, but I, I got an answer for them. This is the foolish generation. But look what Dawid says here in Tehillim 52, Psalms 52, verse 3. These are the enemies of truth. Yah says you love evil or you love rah, a lie, something that is based upon fraudulent principles, more than you love that which is tough. The Torah is tough. It develops us in the, in the maturity in the character to place or to, we will have the characteristics of Yahshua HaMashiach. But we love evil, we love an evil lie more than we love Tom. We love Christmas more than we love Pesach. We love Easter more than we love uh, uh, the Feast of Unleavened Bread. We love that. We love Father's Day more than we love, uh, pay, uh, we love uh, uh, Pentecost. He said, you love evil more than tough. He says, and you love Shekha lying rather than, rather than to speak evil more than tough. You love lying rather than to speak. We are people that love evil. 
We love Shekha, the fraudulent lies and the deception, rather than to speak the truth. We love that greeter. That's what it says. Let, let, me, let me find that here in Tehillim. I want to read that. Tehillim uh, 52 verse 3. Someone give us a call. The telephone number is area code 843 this, this is what Dai we said. He said, you love Ra. You love evil and the word Ra is bad. Listen. You also, in the Hebraic language, the word bad, just like B-A-D, uh, it, is also, uh, it is also a lie. It is a fraudulent deception. You can, you can enunciate it bad as a lie. He said, you love Ra, which is bad, that which is evil, displeasing. He said, you love evil more than Tav, and lying rather than to speak Sadiq, Silah. He says, Shilah. Sing to that as our Ach, Yahoob, there in Texas said, we can sing. Come on, Yisrael. These are lies. We can't love evil more than Tav. Does every Tav and perfect gift come from above? From Yah our Abba, the Abba of O of light? Is not your sure the light of the world? Is he not? Then how can we love a lie that which is bad, evil, more than we love Tav? I'm going to stop. No one is going to call. No one wants to conversate tonight, so I'll stop. How about that? Hallelujah. You think these people love each other, don't you? You're listening to Shabbat Yisrael. David Yisrael sitting here live. Listen, my friends. I want you to tell those, your neighbors, your friends, even your enemies, tell them to go to Yahweh's sword on the Shabbat and listen to this mad man. See, listen to this man. I was talking to my precious Ach Thomas, yeah, down there in Memphis, Tennessee, and uh, he was discussing things with these two Baptist preachers. And he said to them, I want you to listen to this preacher. And so what he did, uh, they began to listen. And he said, the preacher said, Ma, I tell you what, I have never heard one express things with such a clarity as this man. Where is he from? Is one thing I want you to know, Yisrael, that as a young man, Yah began to prepare me, and he has. I have not been one as many men that have not uh, been subject unto men. I have always been subject. I've never been one that discredited men and say, I don't need to listen to you. That is the damnable stupidity of this generation. And even though there were men in my life, there were mentors that they were ignorant in many facets of life. They had a knowledge of the element of truth. And even though they could not bring that out to me, they opened the doors for many things, Yisrael. And as a young man, Yah began to prepare my heart. I will not capitulate. These damn twisted men today, they can talk about guns and getting rich. And all of that, and buying silver and, uh, and gossiping, and yet they will not talk about the damn sin of a nation. And Umar, that you are going to break the damn backs of the wickedness of Yisrael. My mother loved me. <clears throat> and she told me a lie because she hated you. You are damn fool, Reach Dawid. I've been called that before too. Someone wants to challenge me on that? Give me a call. The telephone number is area code 843 658 6222. My mother told me about Christmas because she hated me. Well, I don't believe that. 
Yoshua say, why do you hate me? Because I tell you the truth. You hate me because I tell you the truth. Can I get someone to challenge me on that? I'm quite sure you came from an excellent home. Your family, they were not disoriented. They were not dysfunctional. Your mother taught you love. Your father was a kind man. I don't discredit that. And your superlatives and your definitives of what love is, I won't fight against you with that. But when I look at the definitives of Yah, the, 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 the definitions that are defined, that are written from the bosom of Yah, then uh, I, I, will, I will plead to differ with you on that. I will not agree with you to disagree. I will say that you're flat out wrong. You want to challenge me on that? Mothers that say they love their daughters and tell lies to them, they're damn liars. They're phony and false. My Ach Mikayah, he said a little lie is just as detrimental as what we call a big lie. So a damn white lie is a lie just like a, a brown lie or yellow lie or black lie. You're listening to Shabbat Yisrael, Riyach David. Yisrael sitting here live on this precious, beautiful Shabbat. It is beautiful here. The weather is beautiful. It is quite warm here, Yisrael. I tell you, it is beautiful. Today, I was literally out sweating in the garden when I was harvesting the food. Let me check the temperature here. Hallelujah. Praise Yah. Someone give me a call. And I will show you in the Torah whereby when one tells you a lie, they hate you. Well, my mother did not hate me. You don't know truth, my friend. All right, for my precious Ach, Jacob and Jacksonville, my Ach, Jacob in Texas, to you all, greetings. Ah, you come out so high. 
so beautiful to You cannot go around the Torah of Yah. For all you that have joined us in listening, may that be a great blessing to your bosom. You're listening to Shemach Yisrael Reach. I do want to hear from you. Someone give us a call, Erico 843. Will you say, I am a mother? The telephone number is Erico 843 658 6222. Again, 843. Six five eight six two two two. My friend Ach Carlos, you call and left a message, and when you leave a telephone number, my friend, you always take time to speak it that each number is legible and they are coherent. And you always do it twice. So when I call someone, I will say, My Aunt Carlos, could you give me a call, please? This is Riach Daiwit Israya. The telephone number is area code 843 658 You don't speak where the numbers seem as though that they are concurrent. concurrent. And you cannot make out the difference. So I did try calling you back, my friend, but I could not make out the numbers. You're listening uh, to Shemach Yisraya, Riach Daiwit Yisraya, sitting here live. I want someone to give me a call to, to give me a little dialogue as I made a statement that if one tells you a lie, our mothers and our fathers lie to us because uh, they hated us. Yes, so nay. I know that's difficult. For us to accept, but it's the truth. Can I prove that in Torah? If the Torah says that, we have our Achayel Biramin uh, there in Arkansas, a, an email, Shabbat Shalom Reach Al Yisraya. Stay strong, Mishwacha. These liars have the spirit of their father enjoying the word tonight. We appreciate that. My precious Achayel Biramin, may the riches of Yah rest upon you, in your sure smiley name. We have a, an email from our Achot Aritiya. Shabbat Shalom, Riach Yabrach you. And Toda you for exposing who Shanta or this Hashatan is. If you take a tough look at the word Santa Satan, you will see Satan in the world. I'm very happy. The topic tonight, it helps to strengthen me. Yes. Well, uh, I understand that as well. Beautiful. It is simply that a lie is out of the bosom of Hashatan. And he is the father of all lies. Yah cannot lie. L- let me read something quickly. I want, to, I want to read this quickly. All right. You're listening to Shemach Yisraya Reach Naiwit Yisraya. Sitting here like I want to read this. Let me see if I can find it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can I go around the tour of Yah? Let me see if I can find this. There's Hallelujah. I want to read this quickly in Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 17. 
I took a few minutes before the broadcast to look at a few verses concerning this. And there's a plethora. You just cannot look at Torah and look at the word and think that you're going to get the divinity or the knowledge of that one word. You must search. Search the Torah. Yah, Yoshua says, search the Torah. For in it, you think you have eternal life and you are the ones that testify of the power of Yah. There must be a tremendous uh, labor in the Torah. And we need men of that nature, whether it's me or any man. They need the time to search. They do, Yisraya. It says in the book of Yeremiah, chapter 15, verse 17. Now listen to this, Yisraya. This, the mind of the dogs, this wicked generation. And even as we began to uh, uh, see what is transpiring, we began to ask Yah uh, 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 of wisdom so that we may understand things. So we ask Yah questions like this. Yeremiah say, I sat not in the assembly. That's why our Ach we said he does not go to his son's house because of his shrines of paganism. And Yeremiah said, I sat not in the assembly of the Machas, uh, of the Sahak, those that love to play sport and to mock Yah, and especially those that have this tremendous contempt of Yah. And they will mock and laugh. Well, I don't see what's wrong with that. Well, what well, Yah says is wrong. I know you don't see because you're blind. You have been blinded by your own sins. He says, I sat not in the assembly of the Sohach, of the mockers, nor rejoice. I sat alone. Why? Because the hand of Yah was upon me. For your hand, he says this now, Yeremiah, he says, for the hand of Yah has uh, merle, it has brought the fullness, the abundance, the excellence. For your hands, uh, for your hands have filled me. Now this is Yah's hand. The hand of Yah. People will say, well, that preacher's angry. He, he's a preacher of hatred. He just hate, hate, hate. He is angry. He speaks out of indignation. Look at what he says now. Yeremiah said the hand of Yah has filled him with za'am, with indignation. That has filled him with the fury and the off or the agony of anger. Especially that, and that anger is generated by things that displeases Yah. Or the thing that displeases Yah, or the things that, that cause Yah to have displeasure in, and yet Yah's hand is upon this man, and to cause him to be filled, to be full, to be malé with indignation, yet you will speak villainy against a man like me, a simple ach, that's simply trying to share with us the simplicity of Yah's truth. Yeremiah say, Yah has, Yah has filled me with this. It was not some man, but it was Yah that filled me with uh, this za'am, with this indignation. Yah has filled me with this. I want you to hear this now. He goes on to say uh, to Yah, why is my pain continuous and my womb? Why are they? Incurable. This is how we, as a people, speak to Yah. And my wounds refuse in my heart. We won't allow Yah to heal us by truth. Refuse to be healed. And he says to him, will you all together, listen what he says now, will you Yah, he's talking to Yah here, will you be all together to me as a liar? As an uh, achzab, and a water that fell with you, yeah. This is what the mind of Yisra'ya say to Yah. Will you be all together to me a liar? But the Nobi, the messenger Shaul, he gives us profound knowledge of Yah's inabutability. He cannot lie. Wherein in the time past, Yah, his willing was more abundantly to show unto Yisra'ya the heirs of the promises 
of his immutability, that what he has done is fixed for us, Yisrael. And his Musa, his counsel, he confirmed that by an oath, an oath. By two immutable things, and which it is, and it was impossible for Yah to lie. Why? That we as a nation of people may have a strong consolation. Why? Because we have fled to the refuge. What is the refuge? The Torah of Yah. To lay hold. We have fled to the refuge in Yahshua. To lay hold on the tikvah. The promises of the hope in Yahshua that has been set before us. Has not Yahshua been set before us? Sure he has. The living Torah has been set before us. Now, yes, Raya, we have a beautiful audience tonight. Now, someone give me a call. The telephone is area code 843-658-6222. As I said, that those that, that we have entrusted, they have lied to us, and we think that they don't hate us. And they did not hate us. I know that our mo- my mother would tell me at times. I understood what she was saying. We have a call, all right. Shabbat Shalom was calling. Where are you calling from? Shalom, Rehai. All right, my friend. Yabrach, Zachin, Yeshia, Yeshuran. How are you and your Ema tonight? We are doing uh, wonderful under yeah. the uh, Shabbat that we're enjoying. Beautiful. Uh, this time that Yah has given his people to enjoy the rest that he has given Kol Yisrael Yah. Yes. Yeah. And I'm talking. I wanted to talk talk about the uh, the, the the hatred that Yah has for sin. Yes. You know, people and people in this in this world they 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 say things like God loves us all, or Yah loves us all, so that he, he loves us so much until he will save all of us. He, he hates sin, but loves the sinner. Uh, or, or, or Yah is love and will not send anybody to hell. But that's, that, that, that is just talk. In Psalms 5 and 5, it says, The boastful shall not stand before thine eyes. Thou doest hate all who do iniquity. Sure he does. Psalms 11 and 5 tells us that Yah tests the Siddiqah and the wicked. Yes. And the one who a harbor violence, his soul hates. Yes. So all of that is just coming out of the, the lips of man to uh, tease his own bad thoughts, his own heart. And at this time of the year, he's overflowed with it because he's, he's in, he thinks he's in a joyful mood and he's spending all of his hard-earned money on junk and uh, trying to impress people. I just left my job for Shabbat, and I was there. And you made a statement earlier about when you be in these stores, they have the music going. Sure. And I was in there doing a shoot. I was taking pictures today. And uh, it was a gentleman there that was selling CDs. And he was an older fellow, and he was selling the old Temptations and Dramatics mm-hmm. Christmas songs. And that's from my day. Sure. So I was standing there, and all of a sudden, my mouth opened up. I remember those. Yes, my mouth opened up, and I... Almost got caught up. I know that's right. I said, I said, Yah, forgive me and seal my lips. Yes. And I was in a big hurry to get out of there after that. I know that's so, right. The people walking around with Santa hats on and they want to give everybody a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And mm-hmm. they're all filled up with their spirits, their liquor and they're, they're just crazy. They're hustling and bustling and spending their money. And the, and the crazy thing about this, Ray, is that they all have an attitude. Oh, yes. They all got an attitude because they're spending the money. Because they're broke. <laughs> That's true. They're broke. And I just looked at it and I said, oh, my, my, y'all. 
told her, yeah, I just told him for his his strength. I told him for the wisdom, the chukmah that he has given Israel. Yeah, sure. We need, to, we need to grab it and take hold of it and never let go of it. I know that's right, Ma'ak. And continue in the ways of a sadiqah that he has given us. He, Yah has given us so much. All we have to do is just live in it. Sure. Hallelujah. It's so true. How is everyone there, Rayak? We, we are laboring. I've enjoyed this day today. <clears throat> Excuse me, it has been a beautiful day. It's somewhat 50 degrees outside. It's warm. I have the yeah. air conditioner on in my office today. And I, uh, I have been harvesting broccoli and cabbages. Uh, the garden is so beautiful with so much. Our, in the uh, greenhouse, the tomatoes, the cucumbers. We have such an abundance of kale and lettuce. We can't eat it all. I wish there were others that were close by that we can give this to. We have what we call the, uh, the late cabbages. They're beautiful and big. They're full. We grow small cabbages like the Wakefield or some that are smaller. That it takes just the, the small ones, but yet we grow some of the larger ones too. That they're big and they, and they are just beautiful and so much kale. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put this broadcast up on the broadcast up on the web. I was showing the people today. I'm holding them up so they can see. My issue made me some uh, some of these uh, some kale chips. It's kale with uh, Bragg's uh, amino acids, and you told me something that is delicious. And these are delicious. And this one has some pepper and is spicy. Ah, oh, I'm going to eat some of that after the broadcast tonight. Sound good. Sound good. It is delicious, I tell you. And so the <laughs> abundance of things we're preparing for the gardens uh, for next year. I got to get out Monday, uh, Yom Shene, and began to do some fencing with Yosef. I got to put in quite a bit of fence posts. He will drive the tractor. I will whole man that auger and run these holes we probably must do at least uh, probably 200 poles and get that done but i'll get it done i can go out and do 40 or 50 in one day all right that's busy yeah i know it's busy i love it too but overall i have no complaints everything is well it's excellent and the riches of yah his simplicity rests upon us that we have much to to tow to him for and i appreciate that can I read Leviticus? Yes, you can. Leviticus twenty twenty three tells us, Moreover, you shall not follow the customs of the nation which I shall drive you out yes. for you. For they did all these things, and therefore I have abhorred them. Yes. So there's so, there's so much, there's so much, uh, Lesham in the scriptures for us to, to, to feast on. Sure. To keep us strong and keep us in, the, in our right minds and in our right places that we shouldn't drift. Sure. Shouldn't drift away. Yes. We, should, we, have to stay, we have to stay straight on the word and stand before Yah with all that we have all sure. the time, every day, each and every day. We, he renews his ruach with us every morning. Yes, yes. And yes. we must understand that that is something that he doesn't give away tenderly. Yes. That, that, comes, that comes straight from Yah's heart to us. Sure does. Yes. yes. That's what his truth is. That's right. Absolutely. Well, I'm just, I'm just uh, a little excited about this time of the year because there's so much going on and it gives us a perfect opportunity to to test ourselves yes that's all right to make ourselves stronger sure because we there's so many things that we have to contend with at this time of the year that's all right we don't have to yeah. con we don't have to contend with it damn this wicked generation i i'm a brazen you know i am a brazen man at time people that, that's just like uh, i'll just read what jeremy uh, uh uh, Yeremiah says that you have filled me. He said, Yah, it's your hands that have filled me with indignation or your zach'an. This fury, this hatred, this displeasure that I see in this wicked people that you call a people. I hate this. 
and even they and even I, my pains are continuous because of what I see. I, I want to be healed. And then he asked, Yah, will you all together to me be a liar? And we know that Yah cannot lie. That's all right. Yah was not offended at that. He was not offended. Not at one bit at all. He knows that Hashatan is a liar. He's the father of all lies. And anything that is based upon any kind of lie, it's a lie. Even, you know, I was looking the other day, uh, and then to, I was talking with the UPS driver. I saw this. It, it, was, it infuriated me that these lies, how the concept of lies is so pet- perpetuated. And I saw in the paper, they had what they call the manger scene. And they had this, little, what they call the little baby Jesus. And I have no problem with the little baby Jesus because the little baby Jesus is white. The skin complexion is of, the, of a white skin. Yes. And l- listen, it doesn't look like what we call a Caucasian. They used to, that, that used to be lily white. It used to be paper white. You understand? Yes. It was paper white. Yes, yes. It was paper white. Yes. And so they had their little, little white Jesus and their little white Mary. And I said, you know, I have no problem with that. It doesn't trouble me because uh, it is the truth. But this is not Yeshua. This is not Miriam. This is not the lilies that he came out of, but these are the lies that people buy. And don't tell me that race or the color of the skin doesn't matter. That's a damn lie. It does. With this mindset of this generation, you better not say that baby Jesus is not a white man. I will say he is because he is. And that Jesus is a white lie. That's true. I won't retract that. And we as a nation, I don't give a damn what color your skin is. You better deal with all honesty, with truthfulness. You can't protect no damn white lie, no damn black lie. You must set and be set as a defense for Torah, for truth, man. That's all right. I won't apologize. That's right. No apologies necessary. I will not. Hallelujah. Proverbs, Proverbs also tells us, Proverbs 6, 16 to 19 describes it very well also. It tells us there are six things which Yah hates. Yes. Seven which are an abomination to him. It has been. Halt the eyes at this time of the year. The people are halting. Their eyes are bright. Mm-hmm. A lying tongue. They're, they're, they're full of lies all day long. And the hands that shed innocent blood. They, this time of the year, they're drinking and killing each other, car accidents, shootings. Those when wives are turning against each other, killing each other. A heart that devises wicked plans. Everybody's scheming to get money, trying to spend money for this wicked time of the year. Feet that run rapidly to evil. Yes. A false witness who utters lies. Sure. There's those lies again. Mm-hmm. And one who spreads strife among brothers. Now, all those lies that they tell us are spreading strife against all the brothers of Israel that are, that are sitting around knowing that they're wrong, knowing that they shouldn't be doing these things, but they're listening to these lies from that pulpit in that hellhole, and they're going out and doing what they say. Well, that's the truth. My, uh, no doubt about that, Zachim. No doubt about it. We must walk in the truth. Yes, we will 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 walk in the always a pleasure, my friend. Always. You are my heart all the time, really. I tend to call. I get, I get lazy when I get in the house. I tell you, I kick my heels up sometimes. I even see the telephone ring and I don't answer because I'm tired. And, yeah. Uh, you know, I just don't, you know. But you're in my heart, my friend. You're in your issue, all right? I know that. I know. You, know, you know you're always welcome here. I know that, too. All right, my friend. All right. Yabarat. Yabarat. Shalom. All right, that's our Zachim Yeshai Yeshran there in Detroit. One more call. We're getting close to the time. I am going to close at 10 p.m. tonight, Israel. The telephone number is Erico 843-658-6222. Do we have anyone listening? We know that we have one from Detroit, Michigan, listen. Ma'ach Simeon, is anyone listening tonight? All right. I do want to read this to us, Yisrael. I made the statement that 
No one lies to us. They don't under, it's one thing that we as a nation, we don't understand the sonny, what hatred is. We really don't. We think we do. When we think we hate someone, we don't realize that when we operate outside of the Torah, we despise Yah. But people will say, oh, I love him. This is what the world will say, oh, I love God. I believe they love God. I won't fight that because I know who the God of this world is. It is Hashatan. For if the power of this Torah is hidden from you, it is hidden from you, it is hidden from them, that the God of this world has blinded their eyes, the God of this world, whereby the power of Yahshua, the light, the word of Yahshua shine through, and that they should be your shock, they should be delivered. So I understand that. I have no power, problem with that, Yisraya. <laughs> and so when I say that those that lie to you hate you, can I ask you a question? You think the merchants love you? They put up their pomp, their circumstance, their all their Christmas decoration. You think they love you? And they lie to you say, and say to you, Jesus is the reason for the season? Jesus is a damn pig and lie is a falsehood. But they tell you that Jesus is the reason for the season? That's what they tell you. You think they love you. And they rob you blind with crickets. You think the Waltons love you? You go in the stores, they have decorations everywhere. But you think they love you. They promote Christmas. They promote Halloween, Thanksgiving, Easter. All the pagan days. Valentine's Day. You think they love you. You really do. Your mother taught you about Valentine's Day and Thanksgiving and Easter. Let me read this. As my Zachin Yaramaya would say, we're coming near the end. It says this emphatically. Let me find this verse here in the book of Mishli Proverbs. Is this the truth? It says in the book of Proverbs, let me find this quickly. You'll bear with me, all right. Proverbs Mishli. Hallelujah. Okay, I'm going to find it. Let me find this quickly. All right. Here it is right here. All right. In Mishli, Proverbs 26 and verse 28. It says this, A lying or a shecha, a tongue that is fraudulent, full of deceit, full of lies, a tongue that is full of vanity and, and that speak things that are wrong and not truthful. So a lying loshon, a lying tongue or the language of one's arid. A lying tongue, it says it shone, it hates, it hates, it despise. You are the enemy, person, nation, whatever. It said it hates all those that are dach or afflicted by it, those that are crushed by it, oppressed. Is not Christmas an oppression to the people? Does it not oppress the old people? Many are long because they feel as though they don't have nobody. Are they not afflicted? And their sons and daughters will call, well, Mama, I couldn't get there. Merry Christmas. Damn your Merry Christmas. Damn it all. And it says on a flattering mouth, uh, those that speak lies or halach, sport and lie, they talk smooth. It brings about ruins. Cause many to stumble and to fall. Is that the truth? Well, my mother didn't hate me. You were oppressed. You found out that your damn Jesus wasn't real. Is Christmas a true witness of the power of Yah? Was it a false witness? If it's a false witness, and what is false? It's a shaka, it's a lie, right? Well, look what Shalomo says in Mishli 6, chapter 19. Chapter 6, verse 19. It says, a false witness. It, a false witness. And a witness is something that bears evidence, right? It has to. A false witness that speaks lies or khazab is found upon the principle or based upon the principle of a lie. A false witness that speaks lies and he that so discord among the brother. That he's speaking about the heart as Zakain uh, spoke about uh, <clears throat> the things that Yah hated. 
the six things. And seven is an abomination. You must understand the six things that he hates. It is the, the nature of man. And the seventh thing, uh, it, is a pro, it is a lying tongue uh, that, that, that shed. Uh, uh, it is the, uh, the uh, heart that, uh, it is a false witness uh, that speak lies uh, and sow mischief, uh, mischief among the brothers. When that is, when that is, uh, when that is the ultimate, when that abominable, when, when the seven or the number seven in the numerics of Yah, it means that the perfect kingdom of Hashatan is in the mind. He is sealed by the mark of hell. That's why he said seven, yea, seven is an abomination because the mind is complete in the order of Hashatan and one loves the devil. You're listening to Shemak Yisraya. Riyak Dawid Yisraya sitting here live. Damn their gods, their lords. Damn their Christmas. Damn their pagan holidays. I got one more Shabbat evening to speak on that. Uh, next. I've enjoyed sitting here tonight with you. Can we get one last call before we go off tonight? I want you to be with me on the Shabbat. Hallelujah. My ox Simeon, do we have anyone listening? Hallelujah. On the Shabbat, I want you to be with me on the Shabbat. Hallelujah, because you do want to hear this message on the Shabbat. Hallelujah. It's going to be a great inspiration because it is going to be so simple that the only thing you can say is my, how simple is Yah's truth. We do have one last letter from our precious Ach Dawid Nesha there in in Scotland, he says, Shabbat Shalom Ma'ach, Tav to speak with you. We will, we, will, we will be with you all on the Shabbat service, looking forward to the word being preached. I am, I am away to bed as soon as you say Shabbat Shalom to Kol at Yisrael. It is 3 a.m. It's been a beautiful night. Ya Barak Shalom. Well, you go to bed, my friend. And I'm going to say that as we have gathered here in Yisrael, and may Yah give you, he will give his beloved rest. And may he give you sweet sleep. Eh? And you and the family, may his riches rest upon you, my precious Ark. And I do appreciate your time. Your call all the way from Scotland. May he rock you, my precious Ark, in Yeshua HaMashiach. I want to say, yes, I have enjoyed being with you all tonight. And because of my friend, Dawid Nesha, I'm going to say, may the riches of Yah rest upon you all. The blessed assurance of the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. To you all, Yisraya Mishpacha, Shabbat Shalom.